G'day there, podcaster. Giving you some little montages here of our favourite bits. Yeah, uh, Belle actually specifically requested this one, mm-hmm. which I thought was quite kind of her. Um, she wanted like a compilation of every time Donald Trump uh, has called into the show. What do you love about Donald Trump so much, Belle? Um, I really wanted to do this compilation so that um, we could just have it here and then I can like burn it. Onto a CD so you can give no, it to your mum. I can throw it in the bin. No, I love it. It's great. It's my favourite. <laughs> I'm confused now, so dude. Like, I mean, you requested it and now you're acting yeah. like you don't. Like, didn't request She's it. She's trying to play it cool. It's, I get like, it. it's, yeah. it's cool girl stuff. It's, yeah, it's like, cool girl ah, stuff. I don't like it. Yeah. yeah, but we know you love me doing the Donald uh, Trump voice. I love that you have um, been so successful and I'm so happy for you with your impressions online. But I hate it. <laughs> Too cool for impressions, hey? Well, hopefully <laughs> hopefully you enjoy this wow. montage of Donald Trump as much as Belle does. <laughs> Donald Trump, if you're new to the show, he does join us from time to time. He's been in the news a lot the last couple of days. Um, he was found guilty in court. And then yesterday, all over social media, he appeared at the UFC, was treated like an absolute rock star, and he joins us on the show now... Ben Bell and well had a wonderful evening at UFC 302. Yes, Trump, we saw you there. People were going crazy for you. What was it like? It was wonderful. It truly was. I was there with my friend Dana, Dana White. He runs the UFC and he has a women's name. <laughs> he does. Okay. He does. Um, so why were you there at the UFC? To be honest, I was there because I'm planning on fighting soon. I'd like to put Sleepy Joe to sleep once and for all. Oh, Oh, yes, I'd beat his old white ass into submission. Do you have a certain fighting style, Donald? Look, my striking is solid. I have a good reach, but I'd probably try to get him to the ground with my BJJ. BJJ. Do you know what that stands for? What does it stand for? Brazilian (laughs) Jiu-Jitsu. I thought that was going to be a joke there. It was like big, juicy something. (laughs) Uh, Trump, are you worried about your hair in the fight? No, no. uh, He wouldn't get near my hair. I'd roll him around on the mat, put him in an arm bar, let him have a breather, and then put him in a neck crank. You know what I'd do? I'd whisper in his ear, good night, Joseph. You're a loser. Trump's the winner. <laughs> wow. You really thought it through. Um, aside from, like, your hair, obviously, Trump, but another annoying thing is is if you're fighting, you might get a little bit sweaty. And we know sweat makes fake tan run. What's your approach to that? Okay, no, no. You've been cautioned. That's not Bondi sands. I've told you this before. It's my natural skin. It's my complexion. I can't help it, okay? You're being a loser, quite frankly, okay? <laughs> Watch out, Bill. You might be next in the oh, ring. No. <laughs> We could be a pay-per-view event. I'd have his geriatric ass tied up into a pretzel. I like pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> you like pretzels? Any other snacks you like? What are those long Mexican donuts? Churros. I like them. <laughs> I like churros. Do you like cuisine from any other countries? I like food from China, 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 China. <laughs> Sweet and sour pork. I can't get enough of the stuff. You know what I say about China? What? Love the food. Hate the leader. <laughs> Xi Jinping. I don't like that man. I don't like him. <laughs> Maybe he could be your second fight. Oh, yeah. I mean, if he's game enough to step into the octagon, I'd like to hit him with the Kimura. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trump. Uh, it's always good getting you on the show. Appreciate your time. Wonderful. Thank you. We're about to speak to the former president of the United States, Donald Trump. Liam is in the bathroom, Bill. Yeah. But we can't wait for him. We have to call him now. We've got Donald's number. We said we we're going to call him at 13 past six. So we're going to call him right now and chat about the big Stormy Daniels case. Hello, this is Donald speaking. Donald, it's Ben Lehman Bell on Nova. Is this a bad time? No, this is a great time. The best time, maybe. We wanted to give you a buzz to talk about the Stormy Daniels allegations. Uh, Stormy, I don't want to hear about Stormy. What kind of a name is that anyway? She sounds like a Kardashian or a Hungry Jack's ice cream. Well, um, I mean, allegedly you know her quite well, Donald. Um, you paid her 130000 
fake news. It's a planet story. I don't know who planted it, Hillary. Maybe. Well, Donald, I don't know if it is a planet story because you do seem like you're into your adult films. I don't know. I find it depraved. Uh, disgusting, frankly. I, I think it should be banned. You know where they ban it in China? <laughs> China, China, China. If I had to twist your arm, if you were going to jump online and maybe watch some adult films, what would be your website of choice? If you had to pin it down to a category, I'd say BBP. Big, beautiful president. <laughs> there is one video I like online. I like the video. It's called, uh, you can you can look it up. It's mm. called Senior Gets Pounded in HD. Yeah. And it's just a clip of the 2020 U.S. presidential debate. <laughs> ah. It's me well, absolutely pounding sleepy Joe. Trump, um, speaking of, I mean, seniors, you are getting on in years yourself. You're 77. How do you find the um, performance goes in the bedroom? Things are going well with the flagpole. That's all I can say, you know. I'll show you myself if you come to my lago. It's uh, strong. The best, maybe. I don't know. A lot of people say it. That's not me. You, you got any secret moves in the bedroom? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. What's your go-to? Uh... <laughs> Go on. You can uh, say. Uh, it's called the one pop trump. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trump. Uh, I reckon we'll leave it there. You have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. A lot of people say they like the one pump Trump. It's efficient. <laughs> I'm sure Stormy did too. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> And the presidential election in the States is really starting to heat up. If you missed the debate last week, Donald Trump, Joe Biden went head to head and it just turned into an argument about who was better at golf. Hilarious. Very, very funny. Um, Now, this is pretty fresh. This is today. Trump has now come out at his newest rally and said this. I'm also officially challenging Cricket Joe to an 18-hole golf match right here. It will be among the most watched sporting events in history, maybe bigger than the Masters. And I will even give Joe Biden 10 strokes aside, 10 strokes, that's a lot. And if he wins, I will give the charity of his choice one million (laughs) dollars. He's such a cartoon, isn't he? Even say one million dollars. It's like like something from Austin Powers. (laughs) You can think and say what you want about him, but he's an entertainer. Oh, and I... That's a lot. I want to watch that. (laughs) I also I love, I, I noticed how he's been Sleepy Joe yeah. for a long time, but now it's Crooked Joe. <laughs> I don't like him, he's crooked. I'm not even surprised, though. You've got two old men. Of course mm-hmm. it's going to turn into a fight about golf. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Well, look, if you didn't know here on Nova, we have got Trump's number. We do. We only call it every now and then. Donald Trump, uh, he is furious about this new biopic that's being made over in the States. He's not happy with how it's depicted him. And so we are lucky enough here on Nova to get him on the show. Hello, how are you, Ben and Bell? Doing very good, Trump. Always glad to have you on the show. Now, this biopic, have you seen it? Look, I have, and quite frankly, it's disgusting. It's stupid. Made by losers, a lot of people are saying that. It's propaganda, frankly, and you know who's responsible? Who? Xi Jinping and China. (laughs) Really? You do blame him for a lot of stuff. Um, In the movie... You're played by Sebastian Stan. In your opinion, who should have played you? Maybe Jason Momoa. <laughs> I like him. He's a big, strong man. A lot of people say there's a lot of resemblance there, me and Aquaman. The hair is pretty different. In my younger days, a lot of people say I looked a little like Carl Drogo, the Dothraki in Game of Thrones. I oh, like yeah. that so. Well, if you keep going the way you're going, Trump, with the fake tan, you're going to be even more similar than you realise. <laughs> That felt racial. (laughs) I'll caution you on that one. I'll caution you there. Um, Look, in the movie, uh, you're seen to be receiving liposuction and hair transplants. Any of that true? No, I'm all natural. This is a natural body. I work very hard on my appearance, and uh, Dan is all natural. I don't use Bondi Sands. That's fake news. (laughs) I felt like a plug. A hair plug. (laughs) 
that's quite enough of that. I don't like that. <laughs> I'll right. tell you what I would like to see. I'd like to see a Sleepy Joe biopic. And you know who could play him? Who? Marlon Brando. Isn't he dead? Exactly. Uh-huh. A step course. <laughs> it would be perfect. It would be absolutely perfect. I'd pay to see that myself. All right, Trump. Well, as always, uh, pleasure getting you on Late Drive on Nova. Thank you. Wonderful. You're good friends of mine, quite frankly. Thank you. And big, big news in the States. Joe Biden has taken himself out of the running to be the next president. Now, if you're new to the show and you didn't know, we do have Donald Trump's number on speed dial. We get him on the show quite often. Uh, and he joins us now. First time in a few weeks, Trump. How's the ear going? What? <laughs> Sorry. I said, how's the ear going? Hello. You'll have to excuse me. Um, let me put you under my good ear. Hello. <laughs> Donald Trump. It's Ben Lehman Bell here. Uh, late drive in Australia. I asked, how's the ear going? It's good. Look, they tried to kill me, folks. They tried to take me down. But you know what? My ear and stuff is strong, just like America. They won't stop me. Quite frankly, they're going to need a much bigger bullet. Were you scared, Trump? I mean, not for my life, but I was scared for my Christian Louboutin red-bottom designer shoes. They came off of me at one point. They're very expensive. Very nice shoes. I needed to get them back immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we heard. <laughs> Joe Biden's shoes, on the other hand, he buys them from China. <laughs> well, big news over the weekend, Trump. Uh, and, I mean, the reason we wanted to get you on, how are you feeling about Joe Biden pulling out and Kamala Harris Crooked taking over? Kamala. Okay. <laughs> she could be even worse. I don't know. That's what people are saying. Well, are you going to miss Joe, Trump? I'll miss putting beat downs on his old dusty ass at every uh, debate we do. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, beat downs, Trump, how cool was it when Hulk Hogan endorsed you the other day? What you gonna do when Donald Trump and all the Trump maniacs run wild on you, brother? Very cool indeed, brother. We have Hulk Hogan. I don't know if you've seen at my rally, Dana White, Kid Rock, and Roseanne. That's the A team right there in Hollywood. <laughs> you look at the Democrats. Who have they got? Julia Roberts, Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Taylor Swift. Those guys are losing. <laughs> I'll tell you this, and I'll tell you this much for free. Kid Rock's early morning Stone Pimp is a better album than Taylor's 1989. People say that. <laughs> You know who else we have? Who? Uncle Cracker. <laughs> is Uncle Cracker pro Trump? He is magma. 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 <laughs> what are you saying? Make America great again. Oh. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, Trump, uh, we always appreciate you coming on the show, mate. Follow me. It's a wonderful song from Uncle Cracker. Could you play that one for me? I would like that. <laughs> yeah, I can play a little bit of it for you. We love Uncle Cracker in my house. All right, you're on Nova. This is Uncle Cracker. <laughs> you don't know how you met me. You don't know why you can't turn around and say goodbye. All you know is when I'm with you, I make you free and swim through your veins like a fish in the sea. I'm singing. Obama has shared his 2024 summer playlist, Ben and Bell, and there's a lot of tunes we play on Nova on it, so he's got a bit of Shabuzi in there. Everybody had a barking tip. Him and Michelle just dancing around the house, the bar song. He likes Tommy Richmond. Obama likes Tommy Richmond. Yeah. Charlie XCX. <laughs> Barack, so brat. Yeah, he's having a brat summer. Um, but Donald Trump has caught wind of this, and he's a bit jealous, naturally. Um, so he's actually released a compilation album of all of his favourite songs. Quite frankly, Barack Obama's playlist is lame. The guy's a real loser. That's why I'm releasing Trump tunes. It's all the tunes I listen to on the campaign trail through my left ear. You'll hear hits from Limbiscuit. Mm, who 
Cookie Cookies. Stick it up, yeah, yeah, I like this song. There's music from Creed. Nickelback. And my friend Kid Rock. A lot of people are listening to it. They're saying it's a great compilation, the best maybe. I don't know, people are saying it. We've also got music from the theme of Home Alone 2. I was in that movie. I don't like China, but I like black China. Bitch, if I was you, I hate me. China, China, China. Bitch, if I was you, I hate me. Too. There's also more Limp Biscuit. Make music great again and grab your copy by the today. God, I love this. Donald Trump's latest business venture. He's released his own trading cards. By popular demand, I'm doing a new series of Trump trading cards. It's really (laughs) something. These cards show me dancing and even me holding some (laughs) bitcoins. You know, they call me the crypto president. I don't know if that's true or not, but a lot of people are saying that, so don't miss out. (laughs) What? That's legit. That's that's real. I like how he says bitcoins. A lot of people say that. A lot of people are calling me the crypto president, are they? What? I don't know. I've never heard that. But obviously he's um, trying to win over younger voters. You know, they're in an election at the moment. And uh, he is going all out with this tactic. After the raging success of my collectible cards, I'm now releasing a new line of toys. Trump yo-yos. They go down, but they come back up again just like me. Trump Beyblades. Let them rip. You know who doesn't have a custom Beyblade? Kamala. Quite frankly, she doesn't have much of a campaign either. Custom Donald Trump Monopoly with extra get-out-of-jail-free cards. Little Donald Trump Beanie Babies. Oh, so cute. Trump Lego. So you can build your own wall. The Trump Tamagotchi. I like that one. The Donald Trump Vortex Mega Howler. Hear it whistle through the air like a ballistic warhead. Much better than the little rocket man from North Korea's weaponry. And the all-new Trump Nerf Gun. Ouch, my ear. All the toys are American-made, made right here in this country. None of them are made in China. China, China, China. They're good toys, great even the best. Maybe I don't know what people are saying. Get yours in store today. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.